What is going on here? What an absolute mess. <laughs> So if you've been following along, you'd know that we used to have all this gear in a shed, nice packed away, nice and organized. And that's literally one of the biggest problems I've had with doing this renovation. I had to pack up everything from the shed, from the shelves, from the drawers, and pretty much threw them all into the pack out boxes. And as you know, these aren't the best for working out of, especially the larger toolboxes. They're good for your large power tools, battery tools. But when it comes to all your smaller gear, it's really not that great. So what I'm planning to do is start organizing. I bought a few of these yesterday. Bought two slim lines and one of the larger ones. I've also got that. I've got a whole pile down there. We also did get a new delivery from Milwaukee, a whole pile of gear, and it came literally just in time. Didn't know it was coming. So we're gonna go through that and a lot of that will actually help out with this organization. I'm pretty keen to get a lot of this organized because my head is just absolutely full as you could imagine, I'm trying to do a renovation, trying to do reviews, trying to do pack out boats, while also picking up new tools. I've got this one delivered, or all these got delivered to this week. This one from Green Lee. Look at that, it's got a fishing reel on it. Yeah, I don't know. We're gonna have to see how that goes in the future. We bought some new multi-tool blades. I needed a new set, didn't wanna pay full price, so I actually found these ones for 80 bucks. I haven't used the Diablo yet, believe it or not. So that's a five pack, that was about 80 bucks on Amazon. Uh, I'll, leave the, I'll leave links for all these on in the description if you guys are chasing it, but I've gotta go through these. I also bought these off Amazon, because someone hit me up and said, what about the generic ones, are they any good? 30 bucks for 30, 25, 30, something like that. So I'm gonna organize them, put them all in here. We've got that one as well, that's the Turbo, if you haven't seen that. The Vera, Vera, Turbo. Keen to trial that out, haven't even opened it yet. And even as I was setting up this morning, we got some new safe style sunnies in. So I've been trialing them this morning, they're the uh, classics. But these ones here, the Cruisers, look at that. Very nice, very nice. So I've got to figure out where to put all my safety glasses and pretty much everything else. So that's what we're looking at. Not the greatest, but it's functional. Um, and it gets it done. I could definitely separate it a lot more, but I really want everything sort of consolidated, uh, if that makes sense. I don't want to be taking up a heap of room. So we've got this one, because we've taken the middle ones out, obviously I'm going to try to put these in. It doesn't close 100%, if you can see there, but you can close it. I think that's going to have to do for now. I might hit up a couple of guys online and see if I can get some other pack out bits or I could probably print them myself. I don't like taking other people's files and just printing them off. Uh, I'm not going to be selling them, but yeah, I might hit up a few people and see what we can do. So I get a lot of people asking me about the pack out. Is it worth it? It's obviously a lot of money. That's definitely one of my biggest problems with it. Although I do think it's actually worth it. Otherwise I wouldn't have so much of it. So when I first originally bought my first pack out, I originally went to Tactics. I went to Bunnings, bought Tactics and figured for that price, I think it was 30, maybe 30 bucks for a really, really nice organizer. Absolutely loved it. I've actually still got it. I organized all my gear into it, threw it into the van. And what happened was after a while, bumping around, picking it up, taking it out of the car, it ended up just mixing everything together. And for those that have experienced it, you definitely know what I mean. And after that, went and bought the pack out. I think I bought one of these organizers, one of these slimline ones and legit years on, that was one of the best decisions I ever made. After that, I was absolutely hooked. They're looking pretty good so far. I've got rid of a few of those other screw trays, those really dodgy ones. That's all good. That one's even empty now. What I'm thinking about doing now is getting all this gear, which is the wall mounted stuff, or your drill holders, or your pack out holders, bits and pieces, battery holders, clips, hooks. So I bought one of them. Milwaukee sent out one, but I figured I'd get another one just because I've got a couple of extra drills. And I'm gonna throw this timber up here. So this wall's actually gonna come out sometime, but that's gonna be after the shed. That way I can organize all the tools, get them in here, and then we are free for the rest of the house. So I just picked up the green plug packet, and I don't know if you can see that. That says drill diameter and screw diameter. I've always thought that was just to hang it on the shelf. 15 years I've seen these. So 
So obviously that's for your drill bit to go through, test it out. Who knew? Crazy. So here's what we're looking at. They're the normal size plates. You would have known and seen those. I've used them in the last shed on my roof, uh, a few places. These are like extra wide. So if we have a look at that, compared to that, put that a little bit extra. And then obviously all this clicks together and so forth. So you can sort of move them around, make them fit nicely. So you've got enough room to still click them in and out. And you've got the locks in there. <sighs> Let's throw these up here, see what we can make. Now let's start with the drill holder. So that clips in there, go two of those. Very nice. Yeah. I wonder what else fits in there. It'd be really nice if that fits. But yeah, I figured that'd be the case. She fits in there that way. Yeah, we could go with that. What else have we got? Some big hoods, hooks, the M12. So I looked at these the other day. They're actually putting these little dividers in, which is pretty cool. Yeah, okay, so it locks in there. So I am wanting something for the guns and saws and stuff. I don't know if anything will really work. Might be able to hook that. The problem with these is the hook. That's just the finisher. What if we throw this up? It works. Don't really like it though. So we get this one out because this is pack out compatible. And if you haven't seen it, it's a six port charger for your M18. Don't think it does your M12, which is a bit of a shame, but like it is what it is. Look at it, it's six port for your 18. It's also rapid charge, which is the big game changer. She's big and we do have a USB. We chuck this. Here it is. Tell you what, I'm a fan. Wasn't sure how much I would actually utilize this sort of setup, but it has taken pretty much all those tools that were out there. I've got a couple of things there. They're all going back to storage, don't need them. And all of this, it's all tidy. It's all consolidated down here. I have put a lot of stuff into the armor guard, but majority of the tools that I will be using uh, up on the shelving. So I've put the gardening gear down the end. So that's all there in the tool holder there, the tool rack, got the blower there. I just put that up with a uh, screw, nothing too crazy. I'm still figuring out how to utilize the shelving for this sort of stuff. I don't know if it really holds it that well. Um, it's sitting there, that's the big bandsaw, the old school one. Uh, framing nailer, finishing nailer. They're just sitting, as you can see, on like the bigger hooks, that's on the smaller hook. That one sits there, right? It's um, taken up a fair bit of room. I could throw it into the pack out rolling box or in there, but I am using them quite often. So I like having them up there. Got the transfer pump. I really do like that sitting there. So to get that out, you just lift it up a little bit. It is a little bit tight, but you can put anything in these. So whether you're looking at this sort of gear, your shovels, your rakes, uh, you could probably put your pry bar in there. So if you had a lot of that gear, it could sit nicely right next to each other. So then we've got some of these boxes. They just sort of sit in there. Don't know if I want to pull it out. There we go. Just sits in the back there. These ones actually lock in. That's not locked in. Actually, that won't lock in because it's on this. They only lock on the actual pack out mounts. Uh, and at the moment, I'm just utilizing that for tape. So all the tape goes in there. Tape measures, makes sense to me. All my knives, level, a few bits and pieces really. I think that's what they'll become is sort of like those trash spots. I then actually threw my fan up. I know the new ones are pack out compatible. I'm pretty sure anyway, but I just threw one of these on the back. 
sits in there nicely. It takes up a fair bit of room though. So, and if you really wanted, if I wanted some whew, dust, I could actually do that. So, that works. Moving up here. Actually, I forgot I had that one. Might see if we can utilize that. But this, I actually liked. So at the beginning of this, I pulled it out. I wasn't sure if I'd actually use it. But it is nice just having them all there. They just sit in there. Nothing fancy. I've got those locked in there. But yeah, it actually works quite well. It's something very simple. So these ones are just sitting in there. Just got the little pin nailer, hammer drill. They sit on this quite well, actually. So I don't know if I really want them there still, especially it's sort of made it a little bit cramped for my hammers. Got the King Crown, got the air swing. Haven't used that yet. I'm waiting to do a bit of framing before I get that out. But that does sit on that nicely. Let me move over. This is the light. So I don't really utilize it too much. I did put a battery in it. So that should, or did I take the battery out? Oh no, there we go. So you got a light there, light there. You can see that. So if I really wanted to, I don't really utilize it too much, but I threw it up there. So it's out of the way. And I've thrown a couple of lights on top just for storage. I do like this. I'm just throwing all my pens, pencils, crayons onto that. That just pops off. I think it's a little bit too full. So I could throw that wherever. So then come over to the batteries. These are quite good. They're nice and easy to use in and out. They do lock in. So they're not gonna fall out if you've got them in a car or whatever. I think they take up a fair bit of room. You can see the amount of space, but obviously that is so that you can fit your 12s with a little bit of space. So they do fit the 12s. Then we've got this. I am a fan, very much a fan, especially knowing that they have got the USB. So that was a worry originally, but it, uh, yeah, it's definitely charging a couple. We've got that one charging, and I think that one. This one's flashing. Oh, that should be good. So, very happy with that. Rapid charge. Still not sure if the rapid charge is the best for the batteries. I've talked about the batteries in previous videos. I've had problems with batteries dying, but we're going with that at the moment. So we've got, obviously, the tabletop, which I've got on the drawers. So originally, I had some stuff behind there. Forgot I had this drawer, so I've thrown that other drawer on, but we can roll that out if we want. Got a bit of weight to it, but and then I can pack whatever there. And at the moment, this will probably stay there. And going through the drawers, just got safety gear. We've got masks, glasses, goggles. Then all my gloves. And we've just got plans. Got the AS3000 in there. And then tools, we've got spanner kits, blades, that sort of stuff. There are my nails for the nail guns. Fits nice. More tools, bits and pieces, files, squares. Threw them in there. I don't know if I want to keep them there, but they fit nicely. So at the moment they'll stay there. And then just more sort of random tools, which I sort of use, won't use. Yeah, throw them in there. Uh, if you come back this way, just got random stuff. We've got my knee pads. These are just full of my drill bits. If you follow long enough, you'd know I throw, oh, well this one's actually not my drill bits. It's just all bits and pieces, really. Sockets universal socket, just sort of like my random one, which has everything in it. Same thing with this, all the drill bits, like these are all old drill bits, which I just can't part with, you know what I mean? Still good, but not new. So they're all in there. Installation driver kit, that's that. Uh, this can could get hung up on here somewhere, but I just use this as a bin, so that's just floating around. Uh, chisels hiding down the back there. And we just got more tools, circular saw, uh, pump, Milwaukee footy. Actually, we come up to here. We've got, these are just uh, a few fixings. So you can see green plugs, tap-ins, saddles, just a few odds and ends. Up here, well, I don't think this should fall out, but this is my old DeWalt laser. Sits in there really nice. Made that just with a bit of foam from Clark Rubber. We come across, definitely a fan of these. I think they take up a little bit too much room, maybe. But I guess at the end of the day, it definitely works. So I've got my four drills. I've got my two 12 volts there, M12, that's the surge. I just leave the tech bit on there and that actually fits in there nicely still. So the M18, two of those, they're still going. Then I've thrown in here, so they're those wearer bits. So just for hammer drilling or really going through anything. 
Um, I've got some random security bits in there. And then just a X-Torque kit. So that's got a bit of everything in there as well. Got that little space in there, which is fantastic. And then obviously you can utilize the space up here. So it's up to 11 kilos. It's probably getting there with the sander, but we've got the sander multi-tool, the orbital sander, and the jigsaw. So that all sits there nicely. But then I've thrown the installation driver. Oop, that's probably not the best place for it. Installation driver on the side. So just got a stealth mount thing on the side, just a couple of screws that actually fits there nicely. Yeah, they're not gonna stay there. All right. And we've got the levels, the thrown it there, the track for the track saw. And if we come down here, still got some labels. I'll have to go through and relabel all these. But after organizing, these came up absolutely mint. Oh. Full or well, close to. I've got a few spots left. So in that one, we've got like drill bits, hole saws, uh, we've got spade bits. Multi bits, jigsaw blades, all my hammer drill uh, bits for jackhammering. And I've just got my Barco socket set in there. We've got this one down here. We've just got reciprocating saw blades. We've got the little cutoff saw blades. I actually don't know where that cutoff saw is. I looked everywhere before. The whole side is clean. I have no idea where it's gone. But yeah, that's pretty much that set up with the rest. I've just thrown like hand tools, basic hand tools, all my screwdrivers in there, bits and pieces. Got the fluke multimeter, saw, got a few spares left. And then I've filled the armor guard box up. In the Mac pack, we've got just the track saw. We've got lasers, CPO laser. Got the Milwaukee Angler, the Milwaukee Vac. Another pack out, that's got all the Makita bits and pieces. We've got a saw, reciprocating saw, grinder, all that sort of stuff, hole saws. Let me know what you think, guys. And uh, I'll get back to work and catch us in the next one.